Rebirth of Mothra is a 1996 Takasatsu Kaiju film produced by Toho and the first entry in the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy. The film was released to Japanese theaters on December 14, 1996. A giant, mysterious rock is discovered by the Hikoku Logging Company in Hakato. Embedded in the rock is a symbol, which when tampered with by an employee breaks a magical seal that traps the ancient three-headed kaiju Deskadora. The Elias twins Mo and Laura are immediately aware of this, and their evil sister Bulgara is too. The twins call upon Fairy, a small moth, to help them retrieve the seal and stop Deskadora from being freed by Bulgara, who plans to take the seal for herself and make the evil kaiju destroy humanity. Meanwhile, Yuchi Gotu, one of the logging company workers, returns home late and gives the seal to his daughter Wakaba, unaware of its importance. He is scolded by Makiko Gotu, and it is evident that their family isn't stable due to his working hours. That night, Bulbera visits Wakaba, who's wearing the seal on a necklace, and hypnotizes her. Imbued with psychic powers, Wakaba terrorizes her brother Taiki the following morning and throws him around the room before he eventually escapes to leave for school. Yuchi Gotu leaves for work in Hakato at some point. Worried about his sister, Taiki decides to return home and encounters Bulbera and her pet dragon Garagaro, who sends a dog she's controlling it in. Nikiko is currently tied up inside the house and Wakaba is mindlessly watching television and eating snacks. Mo and Laura eventually arrive on the scene and save Taiki from the dog, and they decide to help each other infiltrate the house and stop Bulbera. Bulbera discovers the location of Descadora's tomb in Hakato from watching the television, but is distracted by Garagaru finding Taiki. An extended battle sequence between Mo, Laura, and Bulbera ensues, the Goto family caught in the middle of it. The fight ends with Fairy being wounded and Bulbera escaping with the seal, and Wakaba is broken from her mind control. Mo and Laura explain to the family that Descadora is of extraterrestrial origin and came to Earth 65 million years ago to absorb its energy, but was defeated by the Elias and sealed inside a giant rock in Hakato. Unable to reach Hakato with Fairy, the Goto family agrees to help the twins get there. Meanwhile at the Hakato construction site, a spontaneous explosion occurs that reveals the giant, jagged rock Descadora is sealed in. Yuchi, mind controlled by Bulbera, commandeers a caterpillar vehicle packed with dynamite and drives towards the rock structure. A sudden movement causes him to fly out of the vehicle, which continues to drive towards the rock and explodes with the help of Garagaru's energy blast. Makiko Gotu arrives, but it's already too late, as Bulbera uses the seal to awaken Descadora from his slumber. Mo and Laura hitch a ride on a kite controlled by Taiki and knock Bulbera out of the sky. They retrieve the seal, which they use to restore Fairy. Makiko finds and wakes up an unconscious Yuchi and helps him get away. Having absorbed enough energy from the surrounding area, Descadora emerges from the giant rock and goes on a rampage through the forest valley. With no other choice, Mo and Laura decide to call Mothra, although they worry that she may be unable to stop Descadora without the aid of her species. Mothra, sitting atop a giant egg, responds to the Elias's song and sets off to battle Descadora. Meanwhile, the Goto family search for each other amidst Descadora's rampage. Mothra arrives on the scene and immediately attacks Descadora, but the Elias's worst fears are confirmed when Mothra begins to struggle. Across the sea, the egg Mothra had laid hatches and a larva emerges, who sets out to save its mother. Meanwhile, Bulbera attacks with Kaba and Taiki, but are saved by a downed Mothra. The two successfully use the seal to restore Mothra's strength, and the larva finally arrives on the battlefield. The larva's attacks have no effect on Descadora, and the evil three-headed dragon tortures it until Mothra intervenes. The Goto family reunites during the battle. Despite their combined strength, Mothra and her larva are no match for Descadora, both getting blown away by its attacks. 
Mothra tricks Deskadora into destroying a dam. The ensuing torrent of water engulfing the evil space dragon and distracting it enough for Mothra to use the last of her energy to carry the larva away from the fight. Mothra, dying, interacts with the larva one more time. Mole, Laura, and the Gotil family watch on in horror as Mothra sinks into the water, leaving the larva as the only one capable of stopping Deskadora. Motivated by the loss of its mother, the larva goes off to cocoon itself. Hundreds are injured in Deskadora's rampage, and the Gotil family watches the developments from the television in the hospital. Startlingly, it is reported that Deskadora has sprouted wings and is now airborne. Elsewhere, the larva has found an ancient 10,000-year-old tree to cocoon itself under. The morning comes, and, one musical sequence later, Mothra Leo emerges from the cocoon as a swarm of butterflies that form together into one giant moth. Fueled with the energy from the ancient tree, Leo immediately sets out to face Deskadora, and the two clash in an airborne battle, Bovera and the Elias twins caught in the middle. Leo bombards Deskadora with a variety of multicolored energy attacks. And for once it seems as though he has the upper hand instead of the other way around. During the fight, the Elias save Bovera from one of Deskadora's attacks. In a climactic final move, Mothra Leo circles Deskadora from above and forms of circle-shaped energy and, with the help of Taiki throwing the seal, the energy forms a symbol similar to the one on the seal and Deskadora is defeated once and for all. With the great evil gone, Bovera warns Mo and Laura that if they continue to trust humans then they will eventually meet their destruction, and she flees. Taiki and Wakaba are given a ride on Mothra Leo. Yuchi and Makiko reconcile and wonder how humanity's effect on the environment could affect the planet. Mothra Leo restores color to the forest that Descadora stole energy from, leaves returning to dead trees and flowers blooming. Taiki and Wakaba are returned to their parents, and they say their farewells as the Elias and Mothra Leo take off. A kid's wave goodbye as Mothra Leo disappears into the distance.